Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia and you see the box in my hand. We are doing Scentsy Empties today. But first, there is some information that you need to know that is going on with Scentsy. So I just thought I'd go ahead and just do it all in one video right now. So the first thing is, it says, new and returning Scentsy Club subscribers can get a free gingerbread man mini warmer we all know and love this warmer in case you've never seen it before and been living under several rocks and boulders here it is how cute is that the ginger man is just chilling in the little cup super cute so the details are it says um on new and returning scentsy club subscriptions from 1201 a.m Pacific time, December 1st to 11.59 p.m. Pacific time, December 31st of at least $60 before the 10% is applied that select process my first order right away. And that is in quotation marks. will receive a free gingerbread man mini warmer in their shipment. So it's new and returning, key word returning subscription. So it's not like I can just get a free um, mini warmer because I've always had an existing um, Scentsy Club. So it is for new and returning. And the next item is it's going to be new holiday warmer and Scentsy Bar bundles. So that will be starting on December the 4th. 5th and on Monday, December the 5th, the queuing system will not be in place. So you can shop freely and it's going to be $40 for this bundle. So what you're going to get is the Christmas camper warmer, the pine for plaid mini warmer, and you're going to get a free Scentsy three pack, one of each cranberry orange cider, maple vanilla glaze and swirling snowflakes fragrances so it says you can find this deal on the holiday warmer and scentsy bars bundle page as well as the holiday collection page on my website so let me see if they have a little sneak peek of it like they do with everything else so I can show you the warmers right quick if not I'll have to dig up some pictures of them okay guys so here is the camper warmer most of you know what this looks like but just for the people that might be new and coming on here that is the camper warmer so you're going to get that you're going to get the pine for plaid mini warmer which is this and then you're going to get three um three bars of wax to go along with it so that is what that is the bundle that's dropping on monday so now that i'm done stumbling over my words let me see if okay now this is the holiday three pack and this is what you're going to get so those are the bars right there so you can see what an incredible value this is because the Holiday 3-pack um, is $17. The Christmas Camper Warmer by itself is $50. And the Mini Warmer, the Pine for Plaid is $25. And you're getting all three items for $40. Bucks. So an amazing, amazing deal perfect gift giving you know ideas if you want to split it up if you just want to give somebody a great big scentsy gift it will look super impressive that you just went out and spent all this money on them when you only spent 40 bucks so now let's get to what you came here for and that is the empties so inside of this plastic bag is the Lucky in Love, um, it's an after work day, people. And I worked a little bit of overtime, so yeah. Brain is tired, y'all. 
Lucky in Love. This is the body wash. I did not use this. This ended up in my son's bathroom. Once again, things just kind of mysteriously tiptoe into his bathroom. I've used it before, so I don't care. The notes on this are, um, once again, I don't have my glasses. Mandarin, peaches, and berries. This reminds you of love spell while my son was using it i don't know you know me and my girlfriend were talking recently and we were both saying how our sons are basically the same age and things just kind of tiptoe out of our bathrooms out of our places where we have our toiletries at and she's like why does my son want to smell like flowers like the most floral thing that i figured he wouldn't want to be within uh, hitting it with a stick he hasn't is using it so clearly they don't care as long as it smells good that's all they want anyway um next is okay now i didn't do a separate video on these one because everybody and their mama had did one already i was late to the party getting it for me this bundle was just kind of meh so yeah i didn't want to waste a video doing it but since we're here now the scent inspirations now gingerbread buttercream i did like this one i was hoping for more gingerbread i understand that buttercream is the star of this collection so it's kind of like a sprinkle of this and a sprinkle of that but the main star is the buttercream I really wish that the gingerbread would have come out more in this. It was a good performer. I liked it, but I just had something else totally in mind when I saw it. Um, Do I have another? Okay. Um, I just figured I'd knock them out the way because they're all in here. The candy cane buttercream. This was the one that I just could not mentally wrap my head around. How is peppermint and butter and icing like how does that work it was okay um uh, now on this one the peppermint was pretty prominent i mean you could still smell the um the buttercream but that peppermint was kicking so it was just okay for me i i warmed this one first because this was the one that was the most intriguing to me and i was like okay let me just get it out the way so warming this first and that peppermint just kind of kicking the door down. I just knew the gingerbread was going to do the same. It did not. Next, let me see. Um, caramel buttercream. You know, I'm really funky about caramel. Caramel can come off sometimes burnt, sometimes just super ooey, ooey gooey. Just like it's sliding down the walls and the shining or something. It can be very overwhelming. Um... This wasn't. This was a really good blend of the caramel and the buttercream. I'm just not a big caramel fan like that. So for me, it was just kind of meh. But if you're a bakery lover, this was probably your jam. And lastly, let me see if I can find the last one so we can just knock this category on out. And of course I can. Oh, here it is. The OG Vanilla Bean Buttercream. Now, shockingly to me this one was the one that was like blowing us out of the house it was strong um it's amazing how just a, a buttercream scent could just like take over i had all of these going in the largest room in the house and this one put the other two other three <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry put the other three to shame in my opinion it was just a power house i almost hated wasting it because i usually would use this <clears throat> to um mix with other things and i just i kind of hated using it just by itself but i hadn't smelt it in so long i told you guys i used to have a brick of this and it was for mixing so i was like you know what since i warmed the other three by themselves I might as well just do the same for that one Okay, we got through a brick, people. I am finally done with Fluffy Fleece. So finish that brick up. This was from last year. Um, it gives me dryer. 
uh, kind of perfumey dryer sheet vibes. Um, this is a fragrance. Either you kind of love it or hate it. People are kind of on the fence about it, but I liked it. I think I have it in, um, I have it in dryer disc right now. I like it. Uh, oh, we have another body wash. Now, this one I did use. This is Vanilla Waves. I told you guys um, on this one, to me, it was a disappointment. You know, the wax, I love the wax, but the wax is too light for me. And for me, this was even lighter than the wax. And I found myself mixing this with um, Bath and Body Works, that vanilla one that you either loved or hated. And I ended up kind of on the hate list for it. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking Wicked, Wicked Vanilla Woods. I did not use Wicked Vanilla Woods last year when they said it was more vanilla with woody notes. They say this year's version was woody with vanilla notes. So it was really kind of funky for me. I ended up using this at the same time and kind of mixing them together. So this kind of mellowed out Wicked Vanilla Woods and Wicked Vanilla Woods kind of gave this a little more, oomph, a little more pizzazz and shoulder shimmy so yeah i wasn't a fan of this let me know your thoughts below next up is very snowy spruce this is your christmas tree scent uh yeah um on another note you guys now have squirrel moments um we are going to get our christmas tree i know we are late we're going to get it tomorrow. Um, I have a little kitty birthday party to go to later, so we're gonna go out probably pretty much as soon as we get up and grab some coffee. We're gonna go to the Christmas tree farm, so I think I'm gonna do a vlog on that, and I'll take you guys with me as we pick our tree. So for those of you that don't have a live tree, this is an excellent substitute for it. It's gonna give you all the tree vibes. Around the campfire, I love this scent so much. I've told you guys before, it's like perfumey incense to me. Love it. It's a good mixer as well. Um, Almond croissant. Smells like what it is. A wonderful buttery croissant. Oh, so, so good. If you have not tried mixing that, you are missing out on your whole entire life. It will give you all the bakery vibes that you ever need. Sweet orange and evergreen. This is another beautiful Christmassy scent, but it's got that orange note to it. So it kind of gives it more pizzazz and just straight up Christmas tree. I sold out of this, it the, the stash that I had of it for my scent of the month. It flew out the door. Now I'm missing it because everybody bought all my bars up. Sweet plum pastry. I don't know why I say it like that every time. You guys know I just took this out of my club. Um, beautiful dessert, plum dessert vibes. Very, ex it's like bakery on steroids. It's everything. Um, sweet orange and evergreen. It was probably when I was doing my samples. Um, warm pumpkin drizzle. This one, it was just kind of like, eh, you guys know I'm really funny with bakery and, you know, it smells nice. It's, it's bakery, you know, for me, it's just kind of, eh, um, hey, tiger lily. Yes, I am still using up summer bars, y'all. I know you are like, what? But this is a really nice scent, you know, I'm really... I know you guys are like, what the hell do you like? Like, I'm funky about my bakery. I'm funny about florals. This is just kind of this, almost like a tropical floral. And I'm not the most tropical person either. So it's a nice scent. But for me, it wasn't club worthy. The reason why it was still kind of hanging around. Um, Yet again, Desert Tropics. Another kind of floral um scent yeah for me it's just kind of eh. you can see i've had this for a while look at that 
That's grody and gross. It's gross, man. It's gross. Next, cinnamon pine cones. I told you guys this was a shocker for me. I ended up enjoying this one way more than I thought I was going to. It is this wonderful, and I never thought I would use the words wonderful and cinnamon in the same sentence, but it is a wonderful cinnamon scent. It gives you that pine cones. It gives you like spicy pine cone. It is really blended to perfection. I am really, really shocked by that one. Happy birthday. Classic. Smells like birthday cake. Um, blueberry pancakes. Took this one out of my club. It smells like what it is. The notes are butter, maple syrup, and blueberry pancakes. Uh, we've got another cinnamon pine cones. We have another sweet orange and evergreen. Uh, welcome home. Once again, notes are cinnamon and spices do not let the scent description fool you this is everything it's in a brick that's why it's in a brick it because they make the best sellers bricks it is amazing if if you like winterberry apple tea it's kind of along those lines it's like a spicier version of a spicier less sweet version of winterberry apple tea i tell anybody Give this one a shot. I am not the Spice Girl. I love this scent. If I like it, come on now. Um, maple rum cut rum com. <laughs> it's not a rom com. Uh, maple rum cake. This one gave me kind of burnt, burnt edges vibes. Like something that you put in the oven and it's done, but those edges are kind of crispy and almost burnt. That's what I got from this, and I'm assuming it's that rum note that is giving me that that whole vibe. Um, cinnamon pine combs tester. Um, perfect day tester. This was in a whiff box. I know you guys are like, where in the world did perfect day come from? It was in a whiff box. Um, sweet orange and evergreen again. Thunderstorm. Um, this is out of my club. For me, I told you guys before, it gives me, personally, a heavy rose note. Very heavy to me. And it's, it's really funny how this is just one of those bars where different people smell different things. So... Some people get the rain note. Some people get the um, rose note. Other people get, you know, other notes that are in it. So depending on, I guess, what your nose picks up first is what you get out of it. For me, I got heavy, heavy, heavy rose. So I like rose, but it was like almost stifling. Next is roll the dice. This is a bar that I did not think I would like and... The herbalness in this, this has sage in it, and you would think, okay, sage, don't want my house to smell like a kitchen. It's more along the sage growing out of the ground, not the cooked sage, not the seasoning type sage, even, even though that's where sage comes from. But this is more of that herbal note sage. It is very, very nice. I was so petrified of this when I saw the sage note, but it comes off as a very refreshing bar instead of smelling like Thanksgiving, like I just put some sage in my dressing. And we are down to the last bar in the box. It is Jack's Obsession. As you can see, we were into our Halloween scents. So Jack's Obsession is a classic. It has green apple in it, and it's this kind of um, ghoulish brew, as they say on the website. Really, really great. It gives you these hot apple cider vibes. Love it, love it, love it. So we are done. The box is empty. 
So I just wanted to come on, show you my empties. It wasn't a whole lot, but I knew since I had information coming up about what's happening on Monday, I thought I'd just combine it together. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.